Hi everyone, today we are showing you how to effectively onboard a new employee in your employment hero payroll. As an implementation specialist, we have onboarded thousands of employees and we are going to show you a proven setup process. By following these steps, you will learn how to enter employee details, configure their pay condition, add their banking and super details for seamless processing. So let's get started. So first you need to log into PayCAD. As you can see, I've already done this. Uh, when you are on the dashboard on the left hand side, you can see a couple of icons. I'm just going to click on the third one. Um, and you can see again, you have a couple of options there. So you have two options that you can use to onboard an employee. One is add a new employee. This will open up a form and we will fill the details of the person and you can get the onboarding process started. The second last option says start employee self setup. Now this is when you click on this uh, option, it lets you add, as you can see on the screen, it's asking for basic details like name, surname, email address, and phone number. What this does is this sends a link to employees email address or an SMS to their phone number, whichever you select, and they can click on the link and fill their details, um, except for the award level or salary, they should be able to fill in all their basic details like um, address, TFN, super fund, emergency contact, qualification if you want them to. They should be able to fill these details. As for now, I'm just going to click on the human icon again and click here, add a new employee. As you can see, it opens up a blank form. It is like any HR form that you would have in your organization asking for basic details. So I'm just going to start filling the form with you. Let's just say Sally, Lynn, just creating as we go. Then just A, female, whichever first address that pops up. My system has a default address. I'm just going to use that and change the email address to Press paycat demo at paycat.com.au and you can add phone number. I'm just adding some random number. Em employee notification whether you want employee to receive their notification on email, you can change to SMS as well. I'm just going to leave it as email. If you need to know a bit more, you can click on what's this. It just gives you a whole description of what that notification would look like. So if the pace, the basic commonly, uh, sorry, the commonly used one is for pay slips. And the early, and you can see self service option. Earlier, I told you, you can send an employee a link and they should be able to fill their details. If you click on yes, they'll receive a link and they should be able to fill their um, TFN and super details. For now, I'm going to say no. Next. And now it's going to ask about employee details. Now, this details is based on the award that you guys use, or if an employee is salary, you can select salary um, in case of the award. I'm just going to click and open, click on the award, show you the list. So let's just say the person is not on any award employee agreement that is a level within the award i'm just going to say no employee agreement set the pay rates manually or you can select the pay point or level that they are on i'm going to say manually select the rates <coughs> now pay condition um this will allow you to select if you're using an award you can select the condition or like if, it, if a person is a shift worker, you can go and select it. But at this minute, I'm just going to say select the route. Start date. I'm going to say the employee is going to start working on the 25th. Primary location could be the head office. Or if you have multiple sites, we can set up the sites in the system and it will give you the list of sites. I'm just going to say pay cap demo. Pay schedule now it based on the organization if you pay your employees weekly you select weekly if you pay your employees fortnightly or in case of a salaried employee or directors if they are paid monthly you can select that i'm going to select weekly now timesheets you can choose one of the three options 
do not use timesheets is used commonly for employees who are on salary and get get a fixed amount um weekly or fortnightly as you pay them use timesheets if you want to pay as per the recorded timesheets in the system um, that's when it is used if an employees work 40 hours employee will get 40 hours based on the rate use timesheets for exception only this is in case where employees should be getting a fixed amount um, every week unless they have submitted timesheets to work over time or yeah over time could be one of the um, commonly used scenario i'm just going to say do not use timesheets employment type it is full-time part-time labor hire whichever you've selected i'm just going to say full-time primary pay category i'm going to leave it as a uh, permanent ordinary hour but you can see there are multiple things that you can set up if the person is on salary you can select that if the person is a casual employee you can select that um we will set up the pay category for you and leave allowance if allowance template you can select the con um, employees state which they are based in and you select the leave allowance so i think the employee that i selected is based in um, nsw i can actually once you've created once we've created the template for you you can select the correct one for now i'm just going to say no leave allowance because actually i do have now uh, let's see i'm just going to see what pops up with nsw all of them is four weeks i don't want who this is workers comp it's based on the award in the file i'm just going to leave it as that period you can select the period so i'm just going to pick random rate and i'm assuming this employee is full-time i'm just going to say that we're going to work 30 years up hours per week and standard day is 7.6 in case you um your organization has audio you can uh, increase the standard hours per day as well i'm going to leave it at 7.6 next now it's going to ask for their banking details um, i'm assuming if you're filling these details you would have them i'm not going to leave it super fun you can add it manually but in this this is used now if you have sent a link to your employees this is where they will this is the page that they will look at when they are filling their banking details or super details i would strongly recommend if your employees are tech savvy send them the link and let them fill out their details next <coughs> tfn details again if you've sent employee the link they should be able to fill their tfn detail um select if it is a tax free um, they are claiming a tax free tax free threshold or not say date i'm just going to say today i'm not going to click on that just say done now the system is going to set up an employee profile this is a basic profile that we have set up for sally now i'll go in and see how the employee profile looks in the system this is sally's profile now we can do a lot more in this we can you can click on upload an image for your employee you can actually add their emergency contact details if they're provided. You can add their qualifications if you're collecting and saving in this system. It's quite handy, to be honest. Um, and if you want any guide anywhere during the system, um, anywhere while doing any um, anything in the system, you can click on the question mark. And this question mark will actually open up a page that you were at. We were looking at qualification now. I can see a step-by-step -step guide on how to add qualification for my particular employee. And I can just follow the guide and I can go in and add the qualification. Similarly, there are a lot of things in the system, only in employees profile you can actually do. If, they, if they're asking you to for their pay slips, if they have pay slips available, you can actually open and give them the details or send it to them. And if employee self-service portal this is the app swag app that uh, we recommend to use for your employees you can actually add the details we can give them a self-service option via this by clicking this you can actually send them the link and sh they should be able to log in so as you can see i can actually go on because there are a lot of options that are available in the system for you to uh, add in employees profile 
but for now i would say let's get started with basic and if you have any questions please send us an email at support at paycat.com.au and we will see you in the next video thank you so much have a good day